Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will talk about the font, how we can use own font in our schedule. So yes, we will talk about mostly schedule and font. So how we can, for example, use here the own one. So let's get started. The first thing I want to make everything clear, how you can create, for example, uh, I mean the change your font. Uh, let's say you are now inside in the schedule, as you can see here is my schedule. And of course, under the title, you can change it, just select your text. And here on the ribbon menu, you will find the font. Just left click and now you can use any type of the font what you have on your PC and you can uh, easily change the font size and font style so it's not a big problem but we get the problem when we want to change it inside in our schedule so we cannot now use this uh, magic tool like a font from the ribbon menu but we still can go inside to the, this our schedule settings so here is our node block properties and here we will find the formatting style uh, appearance and here you will find under the text type of the text so we are using now schedule default right so if I for example the body text I will change to the different one we don't have any type of the font from our PC we have only the um, uh, families from Revit so this is family section we should create own one and in this tutorial I will show you how you can create own one the font, I mean families with the font and how you can use it inside this template. You can have a lot of the ways how you can create your own font, I mean family font. But I will show you one of the most easiest one. I said one of the most. Uh, we should go for example to the sum, uh, for example list, here is our list as you can see, here is our drawing sheet. And now if I will go to the annotate and I will use the text. You will see on the right side, we have here the properties with the text. If you will open up it, you will see, uh -huh, here is our family text, as you can see. So for example, I will use uh, schedule default and I will go now to edit type. Don't forget when you want to change some edit type, I mean, when you want to change some family, uh, duplicate it and after that change it. So don't corrupt your previous work, just duplicate it. And we will call it not default, we will call it like, um, let's say, time new Roman. So we will use now time new Roman, for example. And yeah, now I will understand. So this is for schedule and the font what I'm using, time new Roman. And of course, we can write, write here the size. Now I don't want to use 2.5. I want to use, for example, 4.5. Why not? 4.5 millimeters. So let's write. Now you will understand what this family means. Say let's say OK and now let's change it. First, I want to change the type of the font, new type, new. Time New Roman, it's here, okay, and my size of the my font, this is 4.5, here is only 3.1, let's change it 4.5, okay, so we did it, let's say after that, okay, now we did new font, as you can see, it's here, the schedule, is, uh, schedule time and new Roman, okay, so nice, let's go back our, to the our schedule, here we are inside the schedule, and now we can go, for example, back to the appearance and here we will find body text. Let's change it and you will find it here. Schedule times New Roman. Let's choose it and let's say OK. And as you can see, it's immediately changed. And now we are using New Times Roman here. So this is the basic things how you can change and create your own one. But it's not finally one because you can make some more settings. Let's do that. Let's now go back to the our uh, drawing sheets and again I will choose for example text and I will go and I will change my schedule times new Roman. For example, I want to make it bold. So you will find it here, bold, italic and underline. So all these things you will find here. Once you will change it, it immediately will change in our schedule as you can see. I mean in our schedule uh, text font. So if I will go back to the type also we can make for example with factor. So let's make it two and you will see how it will change. Now as you can see the it was changed now it's more like stretching. So the one it means everything will be same and we not will stretch our text. 
okay everything perfect but what if you want to use some special font so what you can do I think you will find easily by Google how you can download the special fonts once you will get it just install okay just let's install it just you will find here the install we did it uh, my, my new font um, calling the created let's go back to the Revit so here is the my Revit and now let's go to the text edit type again now I'm, I will duplicate it because I will change the font type and I'll say this is created okay this is created so let's leave it in 4.5 millimeter I don't want to make it bold italic and blah 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 but I want to just change the font let's find the created okay it's here already as you can see and let's apply it of course this is some special font and we will get we should get actually this some special result let's go back to the to the our uh, schedule and now we will change appearance because now we're still using the times new roman let's change it to the created and now you will see this is created font actually if we we'll, uh, look more closely it's now more perfectly as you can see for this font we should uh, use much bigger the size uh, I should say this is like maybe 8 millimeters because the 4.5 millimeters it's not enough so we can change it actually easily just go back just say this is, will be like 12 millimeters let's say let's say ok and now immediately it will change in your schedule so by this way you can create use any font from the internet you can create it and use it inside in your schedule so this is not a big problem that's it for this tutorial if you want to know more about the fonts and Revit and families I mean together like a one thing so let me know below in this comment and I will show you how you can create nice schedules with all these things and how you can export it whenever you want for example to PDF just let me know below the comment and I will make tutorial as soon as possible but for now it's finished thank you guys for watching and see you next time